Hello everybody, this is Capitalist Games, and welcome back to Crossing the 101. Today we're going to take a look at this uh, scavenger grinding vehicle, which is made using by, fa uh, by factions by up to level 12 engineers. So actually when you get level 13 you can actually kind of expand on this thing, with 40, since you have 45 parts. As well as level 1 of each of these three main factions. So basically you need to be uh, in level 10 or higher for 3 days because you will s simply go to lunatics and the next day swap out to nomads and then swap out to scavengers and you will need to get a trucker cannon weapon wise this thing can mount most things uh, scavenger wise so you're good with that anyway I will delete this build and I will start building I will start out with a 4x4 a pair of 6 by 4s and another 4x4. Four four. For wheels, I will put the wheels in this pattern, having the most rear, having the, uh, the rear setup for the medium wheels for a 4 long bolt. And then put the trucker as f actually in this little slot right here. You can only, there's actually only one slot, so. For the fenders, uh, hide one right there. And put a pair up front. as well as a pair of them make sure they're good and well aligned except is uh, the easiest part for the side armor simply a pair of canvas roofs and for top wall, uh, uh, frontal armor you start out with a pair of half walls right here they cannot be placed lower because of the wheels and after that a canvas roof Next up is the two little armor plates of the lunatics you got. Uh, you should have gotten. Big grill twos right here. Then for frontal filler, I will place four mini fence sideboards. Make sure to leave this one gap open right here so they connect up the front of the fenders. And then I'll place a pair of off-road bumpers in the front to cover the nose. And uh, when you're ramming, or if you're a little bit more aggressive, so, but that is not a must, so you can leave this out for in return for something like getting a few armor parts right here to cover the top side of the cabin, although that is not really needed because heavy hitting weapons will probably hit this part of armor instead of the trucker cabin itself. But you can also, if you want to, move these one block up, which will cover pretty much the entire cabin. So it will leave a small gap right here. So that's basically your guys' choice. Next up is rear armor. I'm just gonna put you a few panels right here. You have a little kind of module slot right here. So you can stick a fuel barrel right here. And then behind it, get you will of course need then one little armor plate of course. I will use a quarter wall. Are there other actually let's check out do we catch quarter walls? You actually get them for level two. So what else do we got for armoring? Mm, nothing right here. You don't really get something to armor around with, so I'll guess you guys will have to use a fence side. So and only if like one tiny little gap exposed. And you have this 18 structure point bar in the rear. Which is decent enough. And anyway, for weapons, um, I will go for the guide. Every faction is easier. The main weapons that you'll probably be using will be the little boy or the repair. Since they are the two weapons you can obtain at from level 7 or up. For the repair, I do advise getting yourself a cooler. And for the little boy, getting an ammo pack. Actually, just need one, and a uh, something that might be useful for the snipers out there is a visor. It's actually a rather cheap part, so if you got some spare coins, you can of course use that as well. Fuel tank or something is possible, then it will require you quite a few more parts, so you might have to wait before you get level 13. But you can of course get this hole right here and place it underneath your cabin. 
But for now, I'll be sticking it to this. I'll be placing a repair. And... A Avenger. On mine. And I'll go mount... Uh, let's take a look. Actually, I will make a one module slot right here. Find you one. And get myself a pair of ammo packs. And actually use uh, twin cannons right here. And I will try this thing out in a few matches. I do know I do not have to use all the energy. I only used 10 out of 11. But... You don't really have to use all the energy you're uh, provided with. This thing is a good all-around build, it's not great, but it can be used for a grinding build that does not need to be changed much. It can carry pretty much any weapon, so you're fine in that aspect. And I have a terrible aim today. There we go. Down goes another one. Random guy drives in front of me, and I'll only give him one shot. Guy's dead. Dark it down. Let's help this guy. Oh crap, that's not a weapon I want to face. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll try to self-destruct on this guy. Or not. That harvester, I did not expect a harvester on that guy. <laughs> I thought maybe like a auger or abyssal, but not a harvester. Jeez. 4,000 bar score. Two equalizers. I guess we can see pretty much anything here. Good Avenger. Also nothing strange. And this looks like an upgraded water bed. Because everybody has their own own tastes, I guess. How should I should call that? Anyway. Guess we have to wait for these guys to cap out. Doesn't look like there's much more action going on. There's this little shotgun guy. And the cap is done. <laughs> Got MVP anyway. That's kind of scary to have. <laughs> it's like, wait, how much did I got? I got two kills, four assists. I guess those are assists were the big scoring factor. see also 1000 score for part destruction yeah, that's also a nice thing about cannons they give you a decent amount of score thanks to the amount of parts you destroy with them and we got bridge map bridge map is the most favorable map for cannon users uh, mainly because of these sniper hills it's actually one of my favorite maps because I enjoy open maps. It's actually better with open maps and fully enclosed maps most of the time. Unless I'm playing something which I, wherefore I need uh, really like a lot of cover. Like shotgun or melee builds. But I'm not really playing those recently so... I'm sticking to long range maps. Good, I'll have to evacuate this spot pretty soon. Time to run. 
that run was kind of short lived. <laughs> and rip. Although we are covering the base and we actually won. Ah, uh, GG. Nice job, people. This thing does have a decent survivability. Uh, I have to say this nose is mainly because there should be a weapon mounted on there. Otherwise you might be able to cut off this entire nose and slap the armor that I place here, just stack it in front. It should be doable as well. And meanwhile, let's do one more match. Power plant. I'll be going to Sniper Hill right here. Some favorite locations. Those are quite a few machine guns. Uh, gotta go to the right. And that's a ramp build. One thing I hate in this game are ramp builds. They literally ram you, and because of the ramp shape of the front, they will literally just l shoot you upwards uh, and get, your, uh, get yourself on top of them, basically. And since they're under you, you can, they can of course not shoot you. And in the meanwhile, they can shoot you. And that of course means death. I'd say this thing does have some decent recoil to it. Target down as well. The more, the less armor it has in the front, the worse the actual flip is. Dark is destroyed. I only got one guy, but we can out outcap him. Sweet tech. Quite <laughs> that name is kind of inappropriate. I have to say that. <laughs> or oh, mm, nice name. Oh well, we won. GG. Anyway. That was it for this build. As said, it's like around 40 parts. You might actually not be able to get that slot right there or the bottom slot. Because of the limited for level 12. For level 13 you're already a little bit more open. So actually I will actually give you an example of the level 13 version. So literally stacking this one, one up, and simply getting yourself a little bit more freedom using your weapons, module slots and whatever. You can also, of course, mount a pair of fan windows up front, give a little bit more cover, and well that should be about it. Anyway guys, I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you guys all for watching. I will see you guys all later. And it was the Capest Games. And I'm out. Bye bye.